Okay, so today I think we're gonna be playing as my man Toad again. Because Toad's gonna be in the Blue Falcon! The Captain Falcon Mobile, as I like to call it. I actually don't like to call it that. Alright, we are on the Bowser Shell Cup now. So we've got Desert Mushroom Ruins, GCN Mushroom City, Unfinished Mario Circuit, and Slot Circuit. Okay, I'm pretty sure the third one is probably going to be 3DS Mario Circuit. I just have a hunch. Desert Mushroom Ruins? I hope that that's Shy Guy Bazaar. That's like the best course in Mario Kart 7, but we don't really know. So we'll just see what there is to see, but I'm excited. There's a lot of circuits here. <laughs> Desert Mushroom Ruins. Nope, this is completely new. Oh, great. Bouncy Mushrooms. That looks pretty... <laughs> this looks like a Garfield Kart course. <laughs> Not that I would know anything about that. Oh, wait, is this dry, dry desert? Wait, is this GCN dry, dry desert? No, it can't be. That didn't have bouncy mushrooms. It looked like it at the end there. Oh, wow, there's a little bit of latency. And I'm not even playing online, so I guess it's just called lag. All right, been a while since I've used the old blue falcon. Oh, I don't like that. Why is there just lava in the middle of the desert? Once again, the bouncy mushrooms proved to be my least favorite gimmick. I like the ruins here. This looks real nice. There's like a chip out of it on the right side. That's interesting. All right, baby peach. You're really... Is this my first power-up for the course? I think it is. Got more bouncy mushrooms, no! Oh good, and I'm so glad they just put a lake in the middle of the desert, right after the lava, just like they did in Mario Kart 8 Dry Dry Desert. That ruined Dry Dry Desert. It's called Dry Dry Desert, and you just threw a lake in the middle of it. But this is not Dry Dry Desert, this is Desert Adventure Ruins. Or whatever it was called. Okay, I hate that. That is a terrible, terribly designed part of the course. Like, you have to go off at an incredibly weird angle, and then completely change angles in while bouncing. I hate that. So it's a shame, because the actual ruins part of this level is really cool. I keep trying to wheelie, even though I'm in a cart. Look the... Well, it looks like the CPUs are also having trouble on this course, so... Ouch. Let me go to this side. Uh-oh. Oh! Okay. So we have to go off at, like, the right side here, and then bounce. I'm holding left with all of my might. And I still fell off road? Okay. At least I didn't fall into the lava this time. I don't like that part. The rest of the stage is pretty okay, but that part, I, I'm not a fan of that. Surely there's no way they get across that one. No. Please make it. Oh my gosh, thank you. If I had fallen off there, that would have been no first place for me. How is that fake power-up still there? Dang, Drybones just hit a pokey and it fell apart instead of hitting him. But there we go! Alright, apart from that one turn, that was a pretty great course. So I think it averages out to okay. More thunder. Alright, it's time for Mushroom City from Double Dash. I thought this one got brought back in Mario Kart 7, but it did not. So, this one is this is one of the few Double Dash courses that has never returned. Which is a shame, because this is a pretty great course. Like, they brought, they brought back GCN Mario Circuit before this one. Like, are you kidding me? They brought back Daisy Cruiser. I mean, I actually like Daisy Cruiser, but... C 
secret. Okay. Okay, that part's actually a lot harder to take than it was in Double Dash, which is weird. Oh man, the Wiggler bus is... Dude, the Wiggler bus is wiggling around like a worm. Oh wait, when did we get in first place? Alright, I, li I like mushroom. No! Oh, yeah, ha 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 see. Gotta remember. The cars are not going to get out of our way. Okay, let's try the purple route again, shall we? Wow, these walls are quite not what I was expecting. Blue Falcon's pretty good on this course. Probably should have gone with a bike because there are a lot of straightaways. Bomb box. Why is the Wiggler freaking out like that? Like, whoever's driving the Wiggler bus, uh, probably are gonna get pulled over for driving like that. We'll go, we'll go a different way this time. Ow. Oh, hey, short ceiling. Oh, no! Wiggler bus, no. Baby Peach. You are not faster than Toad. Excuse me? How, she is not faster than Toad. I'm in the Blue Falcon. And Toad's got a big speed boost for his character. Alright, well, we still won, but just barely. Wow. Alright, that one was trickier than it was in Double Dash. Mainly because that pink route is much harder. Oh, unfinished Mario circuit. Never mind. This is a new Mario circuit. They're they're in the process of building it. Oh, this is actually awesome. <laughs> and it's got the Mario Raceway spinny sign. Okay, okay, I can get behind this. It's like a Mario circuit, but it actually is spinning. Oh, but you picked the bad Mario circuit music. Should have gone with the N64 Mario circuit music. A thundercloud, really? I don't want. I don't want this. Waluigi would like it though. Oh boy, a blooper. Exactly what I wanted. <laughs> okay, this course is kind of nuts. <laughs> the Mario circuit hasn't been built yet, so it's still like under construction. Oh, that's like actually a really funny theme. I actually really like that. <laughs> this is better than like literally half the Mario circuits that actually exist. Oh yeah, mushrooms for that part. You threw the red shell too close to me, buddy. I like how normally in Mario Kart Wii, it's like, oh, you fell in the water, then you fell off. But in, like, so many of the CTGP tracks, it's like, oh, no, no, you can go, you can drive through the water. We're spoiled on the newer Mario Kart games. Alright, that's just uncalled for. not. No, not Baby Peach. She does not deserve victory. Doggone it, stupid blue shell. Why 
Why is Baby Peach so fast? She's in the standard cart. That is not a fast cart. Ah, oh, well, we're still in the lead overall, and it's time for Slot Circuit. Like, slot machine? Oh, it's like a slot car derby. And again, we're like in someone's room. <laughs> okay, okay, I dig the theming. I mean, slot car, it's good. The gimmick's gonna wear off real quickly. Because it's just like, wow, it's, it's a road. This is one advanced slot. Okay, I really hope that, um... Oh, so you just cannot tell where the edges are. Wow, that literally brought me backwards. Oh, no! You, you can't make that turn in the Blue Falcon. That was a, that was a big lightning strike. Oh, no, 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 no. This is awful! These turns are so tight, you can't make them with the Blue Falcon for half the time, and you can't see at all where the edges are. Oh, this is terrible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna win 12th. I, I'm literally gonna win 12th. I, this, you can't do this track and drift in a vehicle like this. I, no, not a gold mushroom. I don't need a gold mushroom. I, what I need is a bullet bill. Like, I, I genuinely cannot see where the edge of the course is, so I'm just driving blindly. You could use the slots to see where the center is, but it's, like, impossible to stay within those. It's so narrow. Oh, why are all of the turns this, like, impossible to make turn? At least impossible to make while you're drifting. Oh my gosh, the game will not give me a bullet bill. What?! You've got to be kidding me. So they give the opponent a bullet bill and let them run me over, but they're not going to give me a bullet bill. Free mushrooms? Are you kidding me? This is a travesty. Bullet bill. That is not a bullet bill. How many gold, gold mushrooms don't help me on a course where I can't make the turns all that well? Oh, great. And it's also not going to help if I just don't hit any of the power-ups. And, of course, Baby Peach has a breakaway lead that I'm never going to catch, because the game will not give me a bullet bill. There we go. That's going to help. Okay. So you basically, you got to use the actual slots in the track to see where the main track is going. But it's still annoying that you cannot see where the edge of the track is in case you want to, you know, take turns on the inside water. Out of my way. That is not going to help me in the slightest. These power-ups are not helpful. And Baby Peach has no... Is, is an uncontested lead. Bowser, you freaking butt! Wow, and he's... Okay, I don't like this circuit at all. Cool idea, terribly executed, and was not play-tested in anything other than an inside drift bike. And there's Blooper to laugh in my face, as usual. Move it. I told you to move it. Well, I might have still won first overall. Nope, Baby Peach did, because the game just handed her victory on a platter by giving her higher top speed than she deserves and throwing blue shells my way and never letting anything bad happen to her. Great, second place. Woo. 
Okay, well, that left a sour taste in my mouth. That was a, that was a bad race. That was, that was not good. Not a fan of that one. I'm, I'm giving that one the thumbs down. Okay, well, I'm probably going to regret doing this, but, I mean, there is one bike I have not been on. As a heavy guy, I mean, there's the standard bike, but we're going to be on the spear. I'm going to regret doing this because I hate the spear, but I'm going to show it off. Here we go. So now we're on the Spreen Mushroom Cup, or maybe the Metal Mushroom Cup. We've got Piranha Plant Pipeline, so that's going to be Piranha Plant Slide, I bet. Lava Lake, Dragon Burial Grounds, and N64 Frappy Snowland. Okay, I at least know one or two of these. I don't like the sound of Lava Lake, but, well, at least we get a race to practice the steering on. So this is Piranha Plant Slide, right? Yep, this is Piranha Plant Slide. I mean, I think this course is fine. It's not, like, a legendarily great course, but I think it's pretty solid. It actually has good use of underwater, which is a rarity, so... I'll take it. Alright, Waluigi Spear. So the spear is weird, because, like, it's drifting starts out, like, outside drifting, and then it becomes inside drift. Which is not great. Yeah, yeah. Alright! I see how it is, game. Feels like the game is kind of spitting in my face today. Aha! Oh, this is this is different. They changed this, that's for sure. You're not normally in this tunnel. You're normally in a much more broad underwater tunnel. Boost? That's not a boost. No shortcut for me. The spear has really good top speed and mini turbos, so like it can't there are a couple of tracks in the regular Mario Kart Wii where it is the fastest vehicle on in terms of time trials. But for the most part people still go Flame Runner or Mock Bike. Which I like both of those. Those are both very good vehicles. Sometimes you gotta shake it up a bit. Oh yeah. See, not not tight enough turning to get around that. And there's no brake drifting in this. Alright, okay. Alright, fatties. You're gonna regret you're gonna regret doing that. Um, what hit me? Did Piranha Plant clip through his pipe in order to hit me? Oh, now we can do shortcut. Ow. Oh my gosh, the handling on this bike is awful. The drifting is okay, but the handling... Oof, if you're not drifting, you're not making any turns. I told you I'd regret being in the spear. I was, I was, yeah. I really wish brake drifting was a thing. That was a really good introduction in Mario Kart 8. Okay, I don't. The pipe doesn't work. Like if you go through that pipe, you just get thrown into the side. Unless you're a computer player, in which the game just says, "Oh no, you deserve this." Oh yeah. Now, still bottom half. That is not good. That's going to be real hard to win first overall now. Well, it is the spear, and I really don't like the spear, so that's kind of the reason. I'm also very bad in the spear. Okay, Lava Lake, here we go. Okay, it looks nice. It's not going to be like Molten Meltdown Melee. Which is good. It looks kind of like an alternate version of Grumble Volcano. Maybe we can get behind this. A lot of straightaways. I'm liking that. If I can get a bunch of straightaways, then I actually stand a chance of this vehicle. Look at that, Luigi. 
It makes sense that Luigi's my main competition. I am Waluigi after all. Okay, no, I'm breaking, I'm breaking, I'm breaking. Um, this is not normal. Excuse me? This doesn't make sense. This, there's no continuity in Mario Kart if you just let us drive through lava on this stage and only this stage. I know they coded that to actually be water just to look like lava, but the point still stands. Not sure why the arrows are telling me to go up there. I guess there were power-ups up there, but I don't need them. Okay, this course is actually pretty solid, and I think I'm going to get it... Well, I think I can at least win. Okay. Oh my gosh! For this part, you break. 200cc will teach you that there's no shame in breaking sometimes. Oh, and it looks like Luigi is a decent bit of the ways back, which is great. Oh, uh, no! Are you... Wow! Yep. Yeah. That's Mario. Wait, what?! Oh, that crumbled at the end of lap. Okay. That's why the arrows were in place. So this level crumbles just like Grumble Volcano. Okay, okay. Oh no, why is Luigi in first? Yeah, so good. Oh, wait a second. That's lava that we can race through, so I don't need to be breaking these parts. I think that Luigi... Oh, come on! Okay, that was... Oh, no! Oh, why was there a dip in that wall? Are you serious? I was racing so freaking well. And, of course, someone took the power up. Please tell me he's first. Excuse me? Seventh again? Are you serious? Bowser Jr., who won last on the first race, won first. This is not good. This is awful. That was actually a good course. I'm just having really cruddy luck. Dragon Burial Grounds, another lava-based course. All right. That looks like a very difficult track to get through unscathed on the spear. But it's okay. We've got Helpy the Sign dancing for us. Um, what? Oh, I hate that. Why is that there? You deserve it, baby Peach. For everything you've done. Ah, uh, Mario Kart Wii physics. I don't miss you. Uh, oh, I see, it's off road, so we do have to do these half pipe. Why is... Oh, no. How far in first is the first placer? I can't even see them. There better be a blue shell heading for them. Okay, um... I see what you were trying to do there. I can appreciate the creativity, but I'm still not a fan of how that goes. But how was I supposed to know there were going to be lava geysers there? Oh, hey Diddy. Hey Diddy. Hey Diddy. I guarantee that you can see there's no pity for Diddy. It's nothing personal, Diddy. I just, you know, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta win first twice. And I can't because this bike is uncontrollable. 
Okay, I will never be picking the spear again after this circuit. I just want to point this out, so enjoy me being on the spear while it lasts. This course is completely insane. Oh, there's only two laps. Great. No! That stupid freaking staircase that has no reason to have gaps at the end of it killed me again. Bullet Bill. I need a Bullet Bill. That is not a Bullet Bill. Uh, bad, 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 bad. I like the mushroom sign to let you know, hey, you definitely need a mushroom to get over this gap. Why is it whenever I want and need a bullet bill, the game gives it to the person around me? Stop giving me gold mushrooms! I need bullet bill! At least, well, okay, actually, with the gold mushroom, I don't need to bother with the half pipe stuff on here. So, actually, you uh, to get the uh, gold mushroom in third place. I'll take it. Oh no, it's freaking Luigi. I don't think he's even in first overall anymore, but I don't care. I'm a lot of Luigi, so I hate him. Sorry, did that not actually hit him? Come on, game. Summon a blue shell. Do it. I know you're gonna do it. Yes, I nailed Luigi with a green shell. He's still one second, though. I can't beat Luigi. Even if I... Or, okay, actually, if I win first place and he wins dead last, we will tie. And because I win first, I will technically beat him. But I basically need every single one of the main competitors to win the bottom spots in order to win. So I don't see that happening. But it is Frappy Snowland. Ooh, it's at night, too. Cool. Frappy Snowland is one of the courses of all time. One of the most, I'd say one of the weakest Mario Kart 64 stages. But maybe they made it more interesting. Oh, we get the actual Frappy Snowland music because we have Sherbet Land in Mario Kart Wii, which shares the same track. Wee. I think it's going to be tricky for them to catch me on this course because I have very high top speed. No, Luigi, I need you to win last. I still can't believe I won seventh twice in a row. Like on the first stage, whatever. But on the second stage, nah, -uh. I should have gotten it at the very least first. I probably should have gotten first on the second course, but... Oh no, I touched the tiniest bit of snow and completely stopped. Oh no. Luigi beat it. Nobody likes you. Is all of this track mild off-road? Because it feels like I'm going slower than I should be. Like, isn't the spear supposed to hit three digits in 150cc when it's wheeling on a straightaway? No. How did... <sighs> I want you to beat Luigi and, like, only Luigi. It's not gonna happen, though, because the... The game gives your main competition better stats than the other CPUs, so they're going to win the top spots, like, every time.
This is a good adaptation of Frappy Snowman, I must say. Definitely better than the N64 and DS versions. Alright, that one was fun. But the definite, definite dip in quality. Okay, you know what? I made it in top three. I at least got a trophy. I'll take it. Considering I won seventh twice, like, that's pretty impressive. So, did not get a single gold trophy today. And to be honest, again, I don't really feel like it was my fault that I didn't get the gold trophies. I definitely could have raced better. I could have picked better vehicles. But even so, it felt like it was just dumb luck or bad track design that kind of ruined me. Darn it. We were, we were on a roll. We had like three videos of just really great courses and then... Well, we had some good courses today, but we also had some bad courses. I guess that's to be expected. We can't all, they can't all be winners. We can't all be winners. That's going to do it for today, everybody. Thanks for watching, and yeah, next time we will be picking better vehicles than what we picked today. So, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.